Our story begins deep in the South, a land steeped in tradition, where, at the mouth of the Savannah River, Colonel Charles H. Olmsted surrendered Fort Pulaski on the night of April 10, 1861, thus eliminating any chance the South may have had for victory when our nation was torn asunder during that great strife known as the Civil War. Fort Pulaski's cannons were silenced forever, but a lasting lesson can be learned. The lesson of the elusiveness of invincibility, or who is really better. Today's modern athletes revere this lesson as they tread the hollowed ground of the fallen heroes. Following reunification, today's Savannah thrives as a center of industry, a key eastern port. Its inhabitants enjoy the prosperity provided by such an environment, where age-old traditions continue to thrive, like southern cooking and southern hospitality. A land where people are so relaxed that sometimes things only get half done, like half a bridge, half a car, half a sign, half a rubber, or half wits. And now, please welcome, from around the globe, the greatest skaters in the world, this is the Savannah Slamma. You know, it's a contest and it's kind of organized, but the, I guess the basic premise is to set up a bunch of obstacles, try and recreate a little street activity, and, and, and let these guys still screw off like they do normally. That's what skating's all about. The killer contest, last contest was killer, but this is one of the best setups we had yet. And uh, I don't know, hope to have fun tomorrow. Compete and, you know, do my best and promote skating to all the kids out here in Savannah. Uh, the guys did a hell of a good job building all these, and I don't know what else to say. I'm going to rip it up. A lot of obstacles, more different than any other contest. I think it's going to be pretty different. It's not going to be street skating. It's going to be more of an obstacle contest 
rather than street skating. Like this is a street contest, and people are supposed to be spontaneous here, but they're not spontaneous here. Now, let's put up another one and have a half pipe contest. It'll be more fun, and watch Christian do high backside airs. Cool, lots of backside airs. Isn't that ripping? Let's all do backside airs. One footed backside airs, air walks, air walks behind the back, air walk, put the board in the middle, air, blah, blah, just have fun. Um, it's, it's supposed to be more fun. We should have fun. Nobody should worry about what lines they're going to do. They should dr just just skate. Yeah. Crowd, crowds, crowds don't know anything. They do a front side slide and roll. They won't know what it is. Do a blunt. They, they won't even know what it is. Do a fake yali off of a launch ramp. They won't know what it is. It's fun. It's fun. It's hard. It's work, but it's fun. A lot of fun. What's going on here today? You have any idea? Savannah Slammer. Who's the best skater here today? Um, probably Steve Cavalera. Chris Soy. 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 Who do you think is going to be the best skater today? I just have no idea. Lance Mountain. Mm, Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk. Yeah. What about uh, uh, Andy Howe? That's that's who I'm rooting for. Eric Dressen. Gons. Cab. Gons. Uh, Gonzo and Murray and Dressen and Christian was doing real good yesterday. Uh, San Cunningham and uh, Gons. Cabalera. Cabalera. How long have you been waiting? Since Thursday night. To get tickets? Yeah. You guys are true fans. Our parents are. We do this for our parents. We love our parents. Hot. All kinds of different weird stuff. I mean, they got combinations of ramps and they got rails and they got all you know, curves and stuff, it's perfect. Hi, I'm Mark Gonzalez, my agent's William Morris. One's gonna be in this area, and then everyone right.
Thank you.